Now, let me take one part of the cell membrane of the neuron and this is how it will look. Well, you know that this is a usual scenario in case of all cells. However, there is something distinct about neurons that will create this electrical potential. We have seen it already. It is the passive leakage channels of sodium and potassium. If you notice, there is a lot more potassium ion channels compared to sodium ion channels. Essentially, the cellular membrane is highly permeable to potassium ions compared to that of sodium ions. What do you think will happen in this scenario? The high potassium in the cell will find these channels and diffuse out. And the sodium, which is in high concentration outside than inside, will want to enter but will have no such means. And although potassium was high inside the cell, the cell was in a state of electrical neutrality. However, by leaving the cell, the main positive ions inside exit the cell, leaving more negative charges behind. This is because proteins are abundant inside the cell and are negative in charge. Thus, the cell is losing much more positive charge than it is gaining. This is what creates the relative negative charge within the cell as compared to outside the cell. But after some time, the K plus diffusion stops because the diffusion gradient of K plus is overcome by the electrical pull of the highly negative charge inside the cells. Contributing to this electrical gradient is also the sodium potassium pump. This pump, as you know, uses ATP to actively transport three sodium ions outside the cell for every two potassium ions that it moves inside the cell against their concentration gradient. As you can see, the pump is not electrically neutral. It brings lesser number of positive ions inside the cell while taking more out, thus playing a role in establishing and maintaining the electrical gradient. The inner negative charge thus formed starts to attract the positive ions from the outside the cell to bring it back. But like I said earlier, the cell membrane is more permeable to K plus ions and therefore only K plus ions can enter back in. And the K plus ions does move in and out, staying in a state of electrochemical equilibrium. With the concentration gradient of K plus ions attracting it outside, being balanced by the negative electrical charge of the membrane attracting it back inside. This state of electrochemical equilibrium exists at about minus 70 millivolts. And therefore, it is the resting membrane potential of all neurons. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's, the learning app today.